I really didn't want to return it, but I just don't see a reason for the upgrade. What's up? This is John from John Brass for Photography. And if you've been following along on the channel, you know I love using my iPad as my laptop replacement. I've made many videos about this, which you all can check out up here using different apps and your iPad Pro as your main laptop replacement. Now, I put out a video recently about how I was gonna upgrade to the new 2020 iPad Pro, and after testing it and doing an unboxing, honestly, I've decided to return my iPad Pro. Now, if you're new to the channel and you love seeing stuff about using an iPad Pro as your main computer and also creative entrepreneurship, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for more information. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not out here to be hating on Apple. I'm not an Apple basher. I'm actually a total fanboy. I used to work for Apple back in 2007 and I worked for them for five years. I absolutely love Apple products. I'm in the whole ecosystem. I got a watch, I got the phone, I got the HomePod, I got a Hackintosh, which used to be a Mac. Shh. <laughs> I'm just totally in there with the Apple products and love them. One of the first computers I ever personally owned was a PowerBook G4 back in the day. So I love Apple. These are just my opinions on the current situation between the 2018 iPad Pro and the 2020. And just so you all know, I'm using the 11 inch and I also bought an 11 inch. And yeah, I just can't see the point. But let's go ahead and go into the three reasons why I'm just, I'm not gonna keep my 2020 iPad Pro. Starting out with the first reason, which is the minimal performance upgrade. So on the 2018 iPad Pro, we're using the A12X processor. And on this new 2021, using the A12Z. And it really does feel like that difference between X to Z. It's not a huge difference. If you do any benchmarking in Geekbench or anything of that sort, you can see here it's really not a huge difference. It's very, very close to the same. Also, aside from the processor, you are getting more RAM, but we're only talking in the lower models. So my 2018 11 inch only has four gigs of RAM and some of the higher models, especially the 12.9 inch has six gigabytes of RAM. Whereas with the 2020 iPad Pro, all of them are coming with six gigabytes of RAM as well. Now that will be helpful in the long run and it's probably gonna be helpful using stuff like Lightroom and LumaFusion, but honestly, at this time, I just don't see the reason. I use Lightroom minimally only when I'm away from my main computer, which you all can see more videos about that up above, but like, it's not, it's not gonna make that big of a change for me. If you're doing something like drawing or Photoshop, you need a bunch of layers, that's where you might see the difference in the RAM, but honestly, I just don't see or feel that difference. And I do understand that the new 2020 iPad Pro has better Wi-Fi, but yet again, your router's gonna have to be able to match that, your service is gonna be able to have to match that, and if you just don't have anything to keep up with it, it's just kind of pointless. So the performance upgrades are very minimal. In my opinion, if you're coming from anything older than the 2018 iPad Pro, this is gonna be a great upgrade for you, but if you have a 2018 iPad Pro, it's like the same thing nearly. It's just so, so small of a difference. So that's my first reason. Coming up next is the new camera, which in my case is totally useless. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, what do you mean it's useless? But come on guys, how many people really use your iPad Pros for taking photos? Now on that end, if you are using it maybe on a tripod or like how I'm doing this YouTube video, it'd be really cool to have a nice big iPad to use for stuff like that. But for the most part, I am not taking my iPad and carrying it around to go take a photo somewhere. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm usually using mine as a laptop with a keyboard case on it and an adapter so I can use my SD cards. I'm really looking for a laptop replacement. So for me personally, the new cameras make no big difference at all. I won't be using the normal or the wide camera and the LiDAR is really cool, but I don't see a use case for it at this time. I'd love to wait and just see how LiDAR goes see what kind of apps start using it, and see if there's any really cool applications for photographers, and then I'll be ready to upgrade. And by that point, the performance is gonna be a lot better, and I can justify going from a 2018 to maybe a 2021, 22 iPad Pro. And the last reason is the Magic Keyboard. So the new Magic Keyboard looks extremely promising. Obviously, no one's got a chance to use it yet because they don't come out till May, but the keys look straight up like a MacBook keyboard, and I'm super excited about that, super excited to try it out. Yet again, don't forget to subscribe and check out when I get one and open it up and all that good stuff. 
But if you watched my video on accessories for the iPad Pro, which yet again, check it out up above, I already have a keyboard and I love using mice. I don't like to use trackpads. So the Magic Keyboard is a toss up for me. Now the reason the Magic Keyboard is also another reason not to upgrade is because it works on the 2018 and the 2020 iPad Pros. So at that point it's like, well, I don't even need to upgrade to the 2020. I can just save my money and then get the Magic Keyboard instead, which is what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna return my 2020 iPad Pro, get a Magic Keyboard instead and see how that works out. And this actually goes for the Apple Pencil as well. The Generation 2 Apple Pencil works on the 2018 and the 2020 iPad Pro. So yet again, it's another reason that I just don't need to upgrade. I have all the accessories I need, all the new accessories coming out also work with the 2020 iPad Pro. And yeah, it's just like, why spend $900 for basically the same iPad. So that's my opinion and my thoughts on why I'm gonna be returning my 2020 iPad Pro. Let me know in the comments below what you all think about the new upgrade, if you're getting a 2020 iPad Pro, or if you already have a 2018 iPad Pro. I always love hearing everyone else's opinions, what they're doing, and just different things to help me learn more about what everyone uses their iPad for as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more information on iPad Pros, using them as a creative entrepreneur and anything else photo related. I have some really cool stuff coming up in the future, some full wedding day videos and just all kinds of fun stuff that I can't wait to share with you all. So I hope everything's going well, stay safe out there and I will be with you all next time. All right, peace.